What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I said that I would be back with more creative videos and here we go. This is another video where I take a YouTube trend and put a booktube twist on it. One of my favorite YouTubers, Ricky Dillon, he has been posting these videos so much to the point where I'm like, Ricky, stop. You're kind of like just telling me that I have to do this video. So there's been a trend where you DM celebrities or Ricky did DMing YouTubers that he doesn't talk to, which I would love to do that one. So if you guys enjoy this video, then I will do that one. But for now, I'm gonna be DMing authors. Um, the clickbait is 100. I don't know if I'm gonna get to 100 because I don't even know if I know 100 authors, but it's just basically sending them messages on Instagram. Go and follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks. I post a lot of like YouTube related stuff like polls and things like that but I also just post pictures and reviews and pictures of me with my cat so there's a little plug for that. So I'm gonna try to DM 50 to 100 authors or maybe less than 50, I don't know. So if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and go and hit subscribe if you haven't. I make bookish videos with a twist every Wednesday and I would love for you guys to become my paperback pal and join me. Before I start, I wanna mention that I do have one other video that involves authors where I tried author Starbucks drinks. I tried three authors, John Green, Morgan Matson, and Rainbow Rouse. That will be in the cards and down below if you wanna go and watch it after this. But yeah, I do author videos. I like to jump out of the box rather than just doing typical booktuber stuff. So with that all out of the way, let's go and DM some authors. I am terrified because I feel like they might respond, but then also, I don't know, I'm just kind of nervous for this, but whatever, it's fine, YOLO. And I hope that my screen recording works. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll just probably put screenshots up or something. As I'm thinking about it, I have other Instagram videos too, so those will be down below and the screen recording stopped because my phone is trash. <laughs> so the first author is going to be Rainbow Rowell and I'm just going to say, I just read Carrie on last month and I am so excited for Wayward, no, that's not how you spell it, Wayward Son. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right, one one's out of the way. All right, who else am I gonna DM? Um, Morgan Matson, I think. I should like have things prepared, I feel like. You know what, I'm gonna ask her, have you gone on any road trips lately? Because I know for Amy and Rogers, you went on, I just wrote, hey, have you gone on any road trips lately? I loved Amy and Roger, which is true, I did. And it's actually set in PA. Um, what's the thing? next one <laughs> i'm like blanking on authors um angie thomas loved thug is there gonna be a movie is there i don't i don't even know if there is is there going to be i think there is but i can't remember for on the I don't, I think I forgot to mention, but if you haven't seen these videos before, I'm gonna wait like 24 hours and come back at the end to say if anyone has replied or not. So let's see. I'm just like looking at all my bookshelf. I don't, I don't know if I could message Becky because maybe I could. I don't know if Becky's Instagram is like actually her anymore, but I'm just gonna do it. Hey, I just read Leah last month. Are you going to write any more books in the Simonverse? I don't know if she's ever said this, but because I feel like she kind of said she was like, done with it, but <laughs> let's send my queen because I feel like Sandy Hall will probably reply to me. Hey, congrats on your new release. I love your books, I just said. <laughs> Who's next? Um, how about Casey West? You know what, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna send her a message and be like, hey, do you have any tips for writing? Do you have any tips for beginner? Writing tips for beginners. Love your work. I'm like scared that they're gonna answer, but then like, 
I hope they don't answer, but this is also like me having social anxiety and being like, oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> or maybe just my regular anxiety, who knows? So I'm DMing the author that wrote Playlist for the Dead. That's one of my favorite books, I love it. That book actually inspired me to make a playlist because I just loved it. Like I love books where you have music and then it's like you want to listen to the music while you're reading. How many people so far? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six. <laughs> How many people did Ricky DM? I have no idea. Oh. I know that's Katie could come now. So. All right, so that was six people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Can I just do 10 and like be done? Oh, Taylor Jenkins Reid, my girl. I'm going to say I am so excited. I am so excited for Daisy Jones and the Six. Is it gonna be a movie or whatever to be adapted? Cause I don't know if it's a movie or a TV show. I am actually so excited. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. I feel like the people that aren't verified are going to answer me, but then maybe people are just not going to answer me at all, which would be fine with me. Oh, does Austin, is Austin Chan on here because he's my boy? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get to 20 if I can, or 15, because this is just a lot, and I don't, I didn't anticipate it to be a lot, and someone's mowing the lawn, so sorry. It's like sinking in the people, like, actually might respond to me, and I'm really scared right now. <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> my anxiety right now. That was to Katie Heaney, who wrote Would You Rather, which I read for the Queer Lit Readathon. And I just said, hey, I just read Would You Rather and I loved it. <laughs> Every time I look at my DMs, I get like, my stomach like drops, I'm so scared. That was 12 and she's verified, so she probably won't answer me either. So I'm gonna actually DM Ben Coingsburg, who is the author of The Music of What Happens. I'm just gonna say, hey, I loved the music of what happens, it's great. Sent him a tweet once when I was, I was doing something for the reading rush, I think. So I like had to ask him something. So maybe he actually knows who I am. <laughs> I just wrote, I love food trucks. Like what the hell, why did I even write that? All right, how many people was that? So I am going to just cut this off at 15, so I'm already at 13, so I just need two more authors because this is just kind of getting time consuming. But if you want a part two of this, give it a thumbs up and let me know who I should DM and what I should say. Um, and maybe I'll pick your responses and send them. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up so that I know to do a part two. Um, and you can comment too, but let's get this finished off and then I will see you guys in 24 hours so that we can see who responded to me, or maybe not. I don't know um, if anyone does respond to me, actually. The camera's dying, so we have to do this pretty quick. So, like, who are my favorite? Oh, oh my God. Why did I not 
send a message to Jenny Han. That is really off brand for me. Hey Jenny, congrats on the second movie for To All the Boys I Love Before. Can't wait. 15, we need one more person and this has to be like someone good. Sorry, I'm like not looking at the camera. I'm trying to look up like all my books. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna, we're gonna end this with my queen, Audrey. Hey, Audrey. Can't wait to read of Ice and Shadows, Mare and Dina. Wait, I have to make sure I spell it right. And Dina are my And that, my friends, was DMing 15 authors because I don't no more than 15. <laughs> um, this was like the infinite book challenge but with Instagram so I will see you guys in 24 hours or less if someone responds to me like right away then I will get my camera out and let you guys know but for now I will see you guys when I get my first DM. Bye. <laughs> Wait I was taking a thumbnail and Katie Heaney responded and she said thank you so much. <laughs> I was literally taking my thumbnail and then I was just like, oh, what the hell? Now I have to actually look to see what my thumbnail looked like. The next day. So it has been 24 hours. It's currently 7 p.m. and I filmed this yesterday at 2.30. It's been 24 hours and I have some bad news. <laughs> I've only gotten one response. I have some good news. The only person to reply to me was Katie Heaney, which you saw right after I finished filming the first part of this and sending the DMs, I got a message from her that just said thank you very much with a heart and I just love her. She's great. I've read her first two memoirs and they're great. I highly recommend her book Would You Rather, which is what I talked to her about in the DM and it is so good. It is about basically her figuring out her sexuality, having been boy crazy, and just had no relationships and I just really enjoyed this. It's great and it's just amazing. I do talk about this in my queer lit readathon reading vlog which will be linked down below and in the cards above if you are interested in watching that. Um, but let's see who replied to me or who left me on a red because I don't know. I wonder if 15 people was enough but honestly 15 people was enough for me. I'm not gonna be able to really show you because my screen recording just doesn't work anymore but let's see. Katie Heaney, she just wrote thank you very much with a heart. Um, Audrey, she never saw it. Jenny, never saw it. Bill, never saw it. Ashley, never saw it. A and Ashley, um, she didn't see it because I did Ashley Herring Blake and Ashley Poston. Austin, he never saw it. Taylor Jenkins Reid definitely didn't see it. Um, Michelle Falkoff, never saw it. Casey West, nope. Sandy Hall, no. Becky Abertali, no. Maybe I should do a part two where I comment instead. So if you want to comment, let me know because maybe commenting might be easier and I'll get more replies. Um, and Angie Thomas did not see it. And Morgan Matson didn't see it. Um, maybe I should have told Morgan Matson that I like made a video with her Starbucks drink in it. Um, and maybe she would know. Sad times. But when I watched Ricky's video and other videos like this, this was the result. Is that people usually didn't answer unless you were friends with them. Let me know your feedback in the comments if you want a part two of this video. Let me know if you want another one that is booktuber based if you want another author one maybe one where i comment on their posts if you have any other recommendations for videos like this let me know in the comments and that is the video if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't i do have a patreon if you would like to support my videos and this channel it is only a dollar and i will be sending you a personalized letter when you do sign up you will receive exclusive videos like bloopers just videos like this that I don't post because I have too many ideas or I just have too many videos and I don't want to flood my whole channel with them. I also have reading vlogs in the process and I might post wrap-ups there. Um, but yeah, that is my Patreon and if you would like to support me, I would appreciate that a lot. You will also get a video shout out at the end of this video 
And I will have that at the end of this video because I now have one Paperback Pal Patreon. So thank you to that patron for supporting my channel. It will be at the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. Guys, it has been exactly an hour since I finished this video and Taylor Jenkins Reid just liked my message. Here is the proof right here. <laughs> I am shook and if she answers, I will update, but for now, she just liked my thing. And so now we have two responses, kind of like two actions have been done with these DMs. So if anyone else answers me before I edit this video, I will insert more clips. But for now, Taylor Jenkins Reid saw my message. She is my queen. I'm so excited right now. The next day. It is currently Tuesday, the day before I post this video. And I'm learning a lot from this video, definitely learning from my mistakes. So for next time I do this video, I am going to be waiting a week rather than waiting 24 hours because I keep getting responses as the days go on. So I just got my fourth response, I guess. This is from Ashley Herring Blake where I wrote, hey, I love your YA books. Do you have any other YA books in the works? And she said, I don't right now, but I'm working on a middle grade. So T, there we go, inside scoop for Ashley Herring Blake fans. Um, I've been wanting to read Ivy Aberdeen because my friend Becca from Becca with a Book has a review and they just love that book. So I will have their link down below. But I, <laughs> I am surprised that authors have actually answered me, but this video is probably just gonna be all over the place. Hey guys, editing me here and I got another response that I forgot to document, which was from Audrey Colehurst and here are the receipts. I love her and I'm so happy that I also got a response from her.